Hello, today I am going to be doing something that's a little bit different. So, I don't know a lot about eyelashes. I'm kind of new to the whole eyelash game, the false eyelash game. And I tried to look up reviews to find out what eyelashes I should buy. And I found a lot of tutorials on how to put them on, which I already do kind of know how to do. But... Um, and the tips were great, but I didn't find a lot of in-depth eyelash reviews. So I thought, what the hell? I'll just do it myself, right? <laughs> These eyelashes were given to me by a friend. I have no idea how to pronounce the name. It's like Yue Er Gong Zhu, maybe? I don't really know. I have no idea. There's something from Amazon, and like I said, they were a gift. And I've used them a couple of times, so this isn't a first impression, but I wanted to let everyone else kind of see how they do, and I'm gonna start with those. Um, then I have some other eyelashes that I'll do in other videos and just kind of like give them an in-depth review too. And I'm gonna do like, you know, higher end ones and drugstore ones and whatever. Sorry about the background noise. I don't know what's going on over there. So I'm going to put these on and we'll see how they do. So one thing I like about these is that they are, uh, they have like a really light band and that makes them not look as noticeable. And I don't know if you can see they're kind of cut in a triangular sort of way. And that's really pretty. And they are nice, fluttery lashes. That You know, they're pretty thin and kind of natural-looking-ish. I don't know if falsies are ever natural-looking, but, you know. Oh, and the glue that I'm using is Revlon Precision Dark. Um, you kind of need an eyeliner with this. That's what I'm trying to say. You need an eyeliner. But that that's okay. This is just what I use. So, let's see how these babies do. So, my lashes are on, and I think I'm good to go. I think they're looking okay. Let me go ahead and tell you how they feel. They feel pretty light, I have to say. They're not that noticeable, but I do sort of, you know, feel like they're on my eye, if that makes sense. Like, I couldn't forget them. <laughs> but overall, I think, you know, they're pretty light, they're not too heavy, and I think they look okay. Yeah, they're looking good to me. So what I'm going to kind of do here is... I am going to put these on every day and just this pair and I'm going to see how long they last and well we'll see how long they last. I'll also update to show how long they wear in a day. Um, today I started out kind of late. It's kind of already in the afternoon. It's a Sunday. What can I say? But I will try to put them on early in the morning and see how long of a day I can get out of them and I will let you know at the end of the video. I think it's important to know how long you can rewear a pair of lashes because this is an investment for us, right? I think it's important that I wear these suckers till they can't be worn no more and we figure out how long they're gonna last. I will be wearing different looks every day, obviously. So it's gonna be a little bit hard to tell you what all is on my face. Okay, so let's see how these lashes do, and uh, I'll meet you back here in a few days.
I want to talk about these eyelashes. I have been avoiding these like the plague and I think that means they're done. You know, that's what I finally decided is if they're so uncomfortable to wear that I don't want to put them on anymore, then they're probably done. I am a little bit bummed about that because I really did think they would last longer. I mean, they look fine. The pair that I had have, have been wearing is this top set right here. And, you know, as you can see, they look perfectly fine to me. I mean, maybe a little bit worn, but fine. But they feel really uncomfortable. Um, they've started to irritate my eyes for some reason and they will not stay on no matter how much glue I use. Even if I re-glue throughout the day, they're just not staying on. And <clears throat> um, it has occurred to me that, you know, maybe it's the glue, like maybe this just isn't a glue to continue to reuse and reuse. So that might be part of it. I'm thinking about getting, you know, other glues to try as well in the future, but these eyelashes, they just don't even, they don't look the same when I wear them. They're not like curling as much, even if I try to curl them. And they're just kind of looking really false, if that makes sense. Like they're not they're not meshing with my eyelashes whatsoever and they're just fake looking and but like in a cheap way they started to look cheap and feel really uncomfortable and come off so if I can't bring myself to put them on anymore then I guess they're done no matter how much I don't want them to be done anyways to try to give you an idea of how much these cost because like I said these were a gift so um, I don't know how much my friend spent on them or anything but I see several sets made from this same brand here on Amazon which my friend said is where she got them and I mean just on this page I see a pair for 80 cents I see a pair for a dollar 44 I see or not a pair one of these packs of five so a five pack for 80 cents, a five pack for $1.44. I see two five packs, so a pack of 10, and a pair of tweezers for $7.99. I see a pack of five for $2.59, another one for $2.89, and another 10 pack with tweezers for $7.99. So they're really cheap they're ridiculously cheap. So maybe it does have something to do with them. I'm not really sure. I think I wore them for six or seven days. Uh, I don't know. When I make the video, you know, I did take footage of me putting them on every single day that I wore them and I will include some of that footage if not all of it. I don't know if I'll want to put in every single clip that might get boring or if I'll just put in some of them. I'll have to like write in here how many days it was because I cannot remember offhand now, but it was six or seven days that I wore them. And I wore them anywhere from like four or five hours at a time to like 10 hours at a time. So they have a pretty long wear. If you're shaking around, that's because a cat is jumping around on the bed. Thank you, Pythos. Yes. We couldn't film without you. So considering that you get five pair for like anywhere from 80 cents up to, you know, $3. Sorry, I've got really bad allergies. Considering that, I would say that getting six or seven days of wear out of each of the five pairs is amazing. That's an amazing price. So e even if other pairs will wear longer, that's still pretty good for the price of this. You know, for being as cheap as they are, I'm surprised at how well or, or, or how good they feel on my eyes. Um, I would think that something this cheap would look just completely cheap. And... Honestly, I have another pair that I'm planning to do a video on in the future, 
that is a more expensive brand that I got from the drugstore that looks faker than these. So, I mean, I don't know how they feel or anything, obviously, because I have not worn them yet. I haven't opened the packaging or anything, but I bought it in anticipation of making these eyelash videos. So I've looked at it and, and these look more realistic than those do. And, and they're like, I don't know, like $6 or $8 or something. So for one pair, not five. So these are incredibly well priced. How will they compare as far as how they, they feel lightness and, and things like that and how realistic they will look compared to other brands? I'm not sure. You know, because like I said, this is my first pair in trying out eyelashes to see what's good, what's bad, what, you know, what's going on. So I don't have a lot to, com I, well, I don't have anything to compare with other than what I've looked at. You know, I haven't worn anything else yet. I would say these are pretty decent. What do they say about these eyelashes on Amazon? They, they must have some claims somewhere. If things could load, that'd be great. It just says it's easy to apply and reusable, and you shouldn't buy from anyone except Tina Tor as a seller. I don't know anything about that. Um, it has a light band. It says false eyelashes, soft and light band. The band is very soft. Um, it looks like it's made out of like a, a stretchy, clear material. You know, um, it almost feels like uh, rubber glue. It's, it's really soft and stretchy and everything, and it is very light. So, I mean, you definitely feel like you're wearing false eyelashes. I don't know what, you know, other things might feel like, but it definitely feels like you're wearing them, but they're not, like, super heavy. Um, they are easy to apply and remove. They are attractive. Not totally natural look like it says here, but they do look decent as far as natural for falsies and I would say it's a pretty good quality for the price I, I really without even knowing other things like without even having anything to compare it to I think that's a pretty good price so I think these did decently well um, the other the last pair that I have when my friend gave them to me they were kind of messed up um, I don't know if my friend did that or if they came that way, but I'm probably not going to wear this last pair just because they're messed up. And this pair, like I said, is pretty much done. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these out and I'm going to get on to the next set of lashes that I am really excited to try. I don't know exactly which one I'll be doing, but I guess you'll find out when that video arrives. You know, I, I hope that I adequately was able to describe this brand since I don't have a lot to compare it to. You know, I'm going to keep testing out eyelashes and find out the deal about eyelashes because, you know, they can get kind of crazy expensive. You know, since I started this, I've been looking at eyelashes and the prices are just crazy. So I think these are doing pretty good and, you know, if you want to check these out, they sell them all over Amazon and like I said, a really cheap price and they're a decent product. I hope this video was helpful in some way. If you liked it, please like and subscribe if you want to see more. You can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and every pertinent thing will be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.